Hello there, my name is Valerie White Williams and I'm a voice teacher and a vocal coach for Vocal Splendor Studios. Today I'm doing another reaction video and this time I'm reacting to multiple requests for Michael Jackson, Gone Too Soon, sung at the inauguration of Bill Clinton. So let's have a listen. <laughs> Like a comet blazing across the evening sky Gone too soon Like a rainbow fading in the twinkling of an Gone too soon Spindly bright in one day, gone one night, like the loss of sunlight on a cloudy afternoon. Interesting. This is very understated. And I know this was a time where he wasn't always singing live, but here he is. And you can tell because the way he uses the microphone. Microphone use, it's actually a thing called mic technique to actually bring the mic in when it's really breathy and pull it back. But look at Michael, you know, this is an emotional song for him. And yeah, so let's keep going. Like a castle built upon a sandy beach, gone too soon. Like a perfect sun cloud that is just beyond your reach, gone too soon. Gone to soon. Gone to soon. voice break <laughs> it made me cry too yeah because you know the older you get the more loss you have and he felt that he felt that death from his his friend because we never are prepared we're never prepared when loved ones pass even if we know they're not gonna live long we still grieve we still grieve what a beautiful song and what someone said, the person who, again, reminded me of this particular performance is that it's kind of almost telling because Michael has been gone too soon, way too soon, way too soon. He was only in his 50s. So he should have had decades of still singing 
for us and writing beautiful music that is so touching. And one of the things that's so powerful about Michael Jackson, I kind of feel like I grew up with him because I remember watching the TV show, the Jackson 5, I remember those early songs, but originally it took them a long time to actually be given the permission to write their own music, which is really interesting because usually when artists start out, um, they we do other music that is done by really famous songwriters, but what's so awesome about Michael is that he ended up doing more and more songwriting and he was so good at it. So it's a skill, it's, it's something that you can learn. Now, some artists don't even really care about songwriting. They just will sing other people's songs and just really make them their own. But songwriting is a special, special art. And this one is very, very touching and it was great. Um, I could have done without all the the views of the Clintons. I'd rather see Michael, but that's okay. That's probably why I've not done this because I didn't want to, I want to see Michael. That's what I want to see. And it was very touching. I think the whole audience felt it. And you know, he's just so skillful. That last note that he did, keeping the breath. So sometimes when people hear like loud belted saw notes, people go, wow, it's so big, it's so powerful. It takes so much skill, but to be honest, Singing in a very controlled, quiet tone that still has the spin and ring is even more difficult. Loud notes are easy, especially when I teach my students. Usually it's easier to sing a high loud note because you're gonna ooh, give it all the energy. It's much more difficult to sing a high note, soft, but still supported. Because what happens is you still need to use just as much breath energy but you kind of have to pull it back because most of my beginning students will actually, they can't really do it because they want to bring energy to the high notes, but they don't know that they need to bring the same energy to the quiet notes, but just allow the tone to kind of pull back a bit because normally they'll just get off the breath and it gets fuzzy. So he was such a master on songwriting, singing, and then the storytelling. And of course, this was a huge deal to sing in front of all those people, but he did it in a way that was putting out the performance. So the other thing that he's really good, he's had that mic in one hand, I can't remember which hand it was. And then he, I think it was the left hand, I think he was holding the mic with the left hand, and then he was using you know, his other hand to, to express things. So there's a lot of coordination there. And again, moving the mic back and forth, but this was very understated and very deep and it was powerful. And I could tell the whole audience was just overwhelmed by that performance. And it speaks to today, Where, where's Michael? Where's, where's Prince? Where's George Michael? Where's all these great artists that should still be around making music? That's how I feel about it. So anyway, thank you so much for everybody who asked me to do this reaction because it was a very powerful performance, especially the end. And also, if you love Michael Jackson as much as I do, make sure you subscribe and click on the bell so you get notified of all my uploads. And let me know in the comments below what other Michael Jackson songs I should react to. I've done a lot, so I might have already done the ones that you want me to, but there's always more. There's always more. And every performance is unique. That's the thing. Just because one performance and one concert was done, the other ones can be really different because that's the joy of live music and live performances. All right, and I want to thank you for the likes and shares. I so appreciate it. Also, I want to let you know, if you're interested in some voice lessons, you can go to my website at vocalsplendor.com. I've actually been teaching online since 2011 when my YouTube channel started taking off and I was getting requests for lessons from all over the world. So I'm very, very experienced 10 years about working online and getting great results with singers of all levels. And then last, I wanna let you know of my two free passion projects. The first one is called Creative Soul Alignment and that's a Facebook group that's private for people that are interested in the creative arts as well as spirituality. Because when we are creating, whether you're a crafter, a photographer, an artist, a writer, a singer, you are experiencing the divine because the creator, when we create, we are experiencing our creative power. And the other group is called YouTube Success Strategies, completely different because I have been on YouTube for over 10 years. I figured out all the things you need to do to be successful. So I'm getting 
training to people in that Facebook group. And I also have a course that will teach you everything you need to know. So you can find all the information below in the description. All right, guys, take care and I'll see you next time. Bye.